G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do? Star Citizen folks and yes here we go we're doing the bad boy run again because I really want to show this bloody ATK mission okay I want to show what it looks like when it actually works perfectly 250k well that'd be a laugh but no 80k okay that's what we want so let's hit the accept can't have okay there we go and it's popped up that's a good sign so since the last video it's been about a day for me gang time real world time so yeah we're gonna go off and find this thing where the bloody hell is it oh yeah of course so usually the bad boy missions are somewhere near grim hex for these types of things anyway if you do come up to the ship and you come a bit too fast and you've actually smacked into it and the damn thing starts spinning like as you are now seeing on your screens or mobile devices don't worry star citizen has actually thought about this one for you as well so if you go to and i'm going to actually switch my yeah if you go to that view which is basically um was it control s not alt s on the keyboard and then you do your scraping, but you right click on it to change mode. You'll find out that the tractor beam, haha, is actually um, working and it will actually grab your ship or the one that you're looking for or trying to target and it will stabilize it. So you can also stop that from spinning, which you could never have done in the previous patches because the tractor beam wouldn't work. Now, again, I could scrape the cutty. I'm not going to because I just want to show you all how quick and how easy, when a game is working correctly, you can make 80k. You ready for this here, folks? So let's just um, start hole fracturing or hole cracking or hole smashing. You'll see. So again, this is uh, going to take a couple of seconds here, but then again, a couple seconds for 80k. Wow, it'd be worth it. Unless something stuffs up, then I'll be absolutely shitty. But here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Things are looking good. Graphics is being a bit of a pain, but that's all right. No problem. And three, two, one. Kaboom. All right, that's a bit fucked up. But anyway, the most important part is there you go. 80k, folks. Do you know how many 45k goodness runs I'll have to do to get 80k? Well, two. But <laughs> maths aside, oh my god, that is so freaking quick. So you gotta ask yourselves, is this ship actually worth it? The answer is, hmm, at the moment for 3.22 point whatever the bloody hell it is, as of um, like early January 2024, yeah, that's fucking worth it. And then, of course, um, you don't have to stay here and grab. You can also bugger off and um, go get another mission. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the 80k missions don't pop up as regularly as the um, 250k ones do. Uh, don't know why, but um, yeah, regardless, that was just 80k. And now the rest of this stuff that I'm going to whole munch is basically the, um, let's just say, the icing on the cake. There's a euphemism for you. So, there we go. We're just going around. It's the cuddy. There's no hidden ship in the ship like the previous one. I think that's what got my crime stats. But even though I just got a crime stat again, bug it if I know why. Um, maybe you actually have to hole scrape the damn thing and then actually break it apart. I, I don't know. Anyway. Whatever's done is done. I'm, I'll make more than what the fine is, so I'm okay with that, or I'll just surrender myself. But if we have a look, I think I've got a bit too much in my buffer to do this one properly, so I'm going to get up off my virtual ass and head on downstairs. And here's a one for you. You don't have to climb down the ladder, just strafe across and fall down. That will also work too. And considering that um, I think I've done this, um, yeah, I left prison the last time, didn't get myself a multi-tool because that would just be too smart on my behalf. So I'm going to craft one up now. So I've got enough material in there to do so. I'll just take that one and say thank you very much. Come on. Oi. Oh, no, don't fuck her. Uh, okay. I'm going to craft a 
tractor beam attachment because you need that. Mm -hmm. There's me. I'll holster that so I can actually stand up properly and look at myself. And yep, we'll do carry. And this one on this ship is a bit of a hit and miss at this point because sometimes you just like to put this thing over and... Huh. Did it work? Maybe it did. Let's have a look. Okay, so obviously I'm not just going to press the auto eject. I don't need the heartache again. So this one, yeah, that worked. All right, brilliantly. So, so far everything is going well. We've got enough cargo space. I think there's eight in the buffer, maybe seven, who knows? So let's get stacking. So we'll just wait for the door to close. When the button goes blue, press it, and then move this thing around, put it there, and then it's gonna start popping out the next one. So I'm kind of manually doing the auto eject. Trust me, it saves a lot of freaking time and effort on that. Ah, <laughs> what the hell did I do? Can't have, there you go, put that there. I love that auto lock function or snap to grid. Okay, let's say it properly. It's not an auto lock, it's a snap to grid. So put that one there. Again, we'll try to clear up the buffer as much as possible to get as much of the cutty into it. So again, 80K folks, we already have that. This is just the icing. Jesus, a fucking lot of these things today. <laughs> That's cool. But yeah, thoughts about the um, the gameplay at the moment with this ship? Yeah, definitely it is. It, look, it, it can be boring at times. If you enjoy the whole scraping and the crunching and all the other stuff, yeah, after a while it kind of loses the thrill of it. Um, and then obviously considering it Star Citizen, something stupid will happen and then you wake up and go, oh shit, i got to do something here. Um, but generally speaking, if you want to make your money, you can. I think I've just proven that in the last three episodes, even though it wasn't intended to be a three-parter, but it ended up being. You can definitely make the money on the ship back. That's basically it. So if you've got a cool two million lying around, you can go buy it and then start just doing the salvage missions for the moment and you'll get your money out of it. So that's quite cool. I think that's um, not too bad. And again, I haven't been playing this one like absolute crazy. It's just been every now and then. And I've now returned to, where am I at at the moment? Is it the BP? No, it's not. Oh, it's, um, I'm calling it the Shell Station. Uh, so this is around, uh, where the hell is it? Oh, boxes, no, Evan, you've got money. Don't pick them up. Uh, this is around Crusader. So I'm here just to also show you one thing as well. It, I know at times I don't try to do things just to show like where it can go and what can actually happen like properly, but this is something that kind of irritates me and I think will probably irritate you. Um, believe it or not, and then, well, you'll see for yourselves in about 30 seconds but you cannot drop off your cargo, especially the hole scraping stuff everywhere in this game, which I thought you could. Apparently, you can't. Have a look. So here we go, got the Drake Vulture, see? No demand. Now, this could just be because there's no demand for it or the fact that they just don't want it. And I'm kind of um, thinking that there is no demand here. At least that's how I've got it in my head at the moment oh there was another player so that means i've still got the stuff in my cargo hold i'm not going to bugger off but i am going to go and do the 250k uh hammerhead mission and i want to show you guys just so you can see this and i also wanted to try it for myself as well so we're learning two things in this video oh, who'd ever thought so here's the first one can i fracture the hull well, in this mode, probably not. Um, there we go. Uh, size exceeded, so that's a no. So the quick 250K ain't happening here, folks. Wrong ship for it. If you've got that huge other one, the name eludes me at the moment, Reclaimer, I think it is. Um, yeah, you can do this piece of piss and off you go. But when you have the, um, the baby vulture, you can't do anything. But what you can do, 
is um, scrape as much of the hull as you can in the time you have. So I have like 56 minutes to scrape as much as I can. Now, what I'm going to do here, and don't worry, I'm not going to bore you all senseless with this, but I was just thinking, hey, you know what? Let's do a little bit of shameless advertising. Why not? Now, the idea originally was to just um, put the name on the ship, like, well, you'll see. And then bugger off is basically what I was going to do. But then I realized, nah, fuck it, I'm actually going to make some good cash off this or in-game currency. So I'll just keep going. But, and I did. But for the moment, you guys, let me know if you can guess what I was actually going to write. So here we go, it's like watching paint dry, but this is how long it takes here, folks. Hey. And yes, you know, it's Hey Ev. So I'm gonna leave the Hey Ev there for now. Might take a picture of it, a screenshot I should say. And that could be the thumbnail for this um, YouTube video, which will probably get about maybe 30 views. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Come on. Believe it or not, you should, this is actually quite quick. So that's a really badly done Eve, only because um, that part of the hole doesn't get scraped. And so doesn't that part, so fuck it, let's just do this quickly. Come on. Now this is principle, folks. I'm going to finish it. There you go. How's that? Hey, Ev. I like that. Screenshot. And here we go. So, hole munching. I've started at the top to work my way down. It's actually quite therapeutic on this hammerhead, even though you know you're not going to get everything. It is just a bit therapeutic that you can just go and just rip these things off. But now have a look. Filler station full. And I've only done the top part of the hammerhead. And, um, well, about 10 minutes or so I've gone past. Maybe a little bit more. And again, don't have to climb down the stairs. Sideways and shuffle and then down. And these are some of the crates that are there. And guess what? The buffer's full. So obviously I've got to do a little bit of housekeeping here. So I'm just going to push that one a bit further back. So just get the next one. So this is why I kept this in the video here, folks, just so you guys can actually see this for yourselves, that you can actually um, store these things, even though they don't recommend it. You can store these things next to um, the other crates. They're not on the cargo grid, so if something happens, um, good luck to you. I have had the unfortunate well experience, and I was killing myself, I wasn't recording at the time, that um, it, the crate itself got a bit caught on something and it ended up going through the bottom of the ship. That happened a couple of times, but once that happened, I actually went outside the ship and I could actually get the crate again. So I was, um, well, laughing. Didn't enjoy that experience, but it wasn't a complete loss. So it does happen from time to time. So you've got to be very careful and give yourselves a little bit of extra room. And I know you can hear the door going psh, psh, from the hydraulics. Um, that's because every time I move back, I need the extra room to go in. There you go, you just heard it then. And so I just pick, fix this up, pack it up. Don't push it too far, Ev. Don't want to push things out of the ship. So I can fit in another six crates there. Press the button. And don't worry, it looks red. It was just because of the angle. Nothing was wrong with it. Give me a heart attack a few times by that as well. So come on, put that in there. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I kind of fucked that one up, didn't I? All right. Anyway, see what happens? you got to be very careful here, folks. Don't get cocky. So put this one up here as well. Don't fall out of my ship. Fuck, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, 
Um, yeah, we'll let that one inject. So I'll keep on scraping as well. So folks, I'm going to make a ton of money off this one. So I'm not going to bore you with it. I did it. it there is a lot there. Now I still have 13 SCU in the buffer and I've got here. So this is the stuff sitting on the side, not in the grid. So that's the um, seven gone. And that was what, 42K? And this one here, what's this one? 73, so there you go. It's, it's almost 80K here just from that, plus actually. So yeah, I would say thank you very much for watching. I'm not gonna show you what was in the buffer. Maybe I'll save that one for another episode, but let's just say a lot. And uh, yeah, you can definitely uh, make your money off for that one. So yeah, folks, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, night, evening. Am I going to go and actually pay my fine? Do I want to be a conscientious citizen or not? Oh, fuck it, I will. See you in the next one.